All right, hi guys. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna take you through in a few minutes only how to create QR codes with a branded or a logo or an, a picture in the middle of them. With these type of QR codes, you're not having to pay for a redirection service. You're not having to sign up externally out of Canva. You're not gonna be holding to anyone. You're gonna simply gonna be able to create this QR code with whatever logo you want in the middle and click in the direct link where you want to send it. Plain and simple, okay? And again, if you want, this is the really quick version. If you want the detailed version, go back to the channel. Uh, there will be a video on the extended version which will give you the full functionality side of it. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, open up your Canva app. Top left-hand corner, we're going to create a design. And then what we're going to start off with is an Instagram post square. Click on Instagram post square. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to elements. And what we're going to do is on the left-hand side, we're going to go to GenQR, which is in the bottom left-hand corner. If you don't have GenQR already there, go to your app screen, type in GenQR. And this is totally free. It doesn't redirect you anywhere. You don't have to sign up for anything. It is all within the Canva app. Click on GenQR, and then what you'll find, you'll find it in the bottom left-hand corner moving forward. What you're then gonna do is the link where you want to basically send the person when they scan the QR code, what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste in the link. So in my instance, I'm gonna to go to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna grab share. So I've grabbed my link from the YouTube channel. I'm now gonna paste that in, all right? And then there's a whole heap of preset templates. I'm just gonna stick with the first one there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into all the settings that I like, but you can customize it to whatever color, sizes, and so forth you like. I like to set the margins at 75, okay? Backgrounds, I always leave the fill set with that full square and white. Then click on the drop down for pattern. I always go to the very far right for nice sharp squares. And color wise, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a lime green color. But what I'm gonna do for consistency, and you can have all different parts of the QR code, different colors. I'm gonna copy this um, color code. Okay, copy it. Then I'm gonna go to the next section, external shape fill. And I'm gonna paste that same color. Beautiful. You click on the color to close. Then internal shape fill, you click on the color, paste the next color, done. Click on the color icon again. Then I'm gonna choose the file logo. I'm gonna to go to my um, photo library and you'll see there I've got a, a logo for your YouTube play. We're gonna drop that in and then we're gonna then click add to design. And there is your QR code with the logo. So I already had um, a logo that I wanted to put in the middle. You can put whatever you like, stretch that out to the full size, and then basically give it a, no a, a name. We're just gonna say test QR, return, bang. So if you scan this QR, you're not gonna be redirected anywhere else but wherever you've directed it. Now. If you want a really detailed version and a slowed down version of this, which goes into all the intricacies of changing it around and different colors and different styles and different logos and creating the logos, go check out um, my channel and there'll be a very extensive video on this. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. Like, subscribe and share, please. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.